Hi, sweetie. I love you. You are the cutest little fluffy butt in the world. Yes. <laughs> Morning, guys. And say hello to Juan Juan, who is still being a lazy butt and sleeping his day away. I'm very jealous. Um, but yeah, I am on a vlogging frenzy right now. I have missed vlogging so much that I am just going to take you guys with me every single day, no matter how boring the day is. Today is one of those days. I am going to go to the post office, ship out some prints, and maybe get some groceries, make a salad. I mean, it's going to be a really, really boring day, but I figured I might as well try to um, include you guys a little bit more because I've missed you all so much. So let us get this day started and hopefully, I don't know, maybe we'll find something fun to vlog about as the day goes on. By the way, um, it <laughs> really hurts right now to hold up this um, camera slash selfie stick. I have been trying to do some more weightlifting at the gym lately and my arms are just the weakest little arms <laughs> I've ever come across. Like I was struggling with the 10 pound weights on my first day. Um, actually, no, even now, I don't think I'm like fully comfortable with like 10 pound free weight bicep curls yet. So I am just like the lamest person at my gym. Everyone else is like beautiful and strong and like ripped. And I, I'm just over in the corner, like this soft, weak, flabby, like pile. Anyways, um, but yeah, you gotta start somewhere. So it's kind of like, like a searing pain right now on my arms, just like holding up the tripod like this. But it's a good feeling. I think the pain is an indicator that you're pushing yourself and that your workout was effective. So yeah, I'm gonna try to um, go to the gym at least three to four times a week and you know, get rid of my old crappy habits. So yeah, hopefully my lifestyle becomes a lot healthier from now on. Got this huge bag of prints. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like, I think 60 in here. Um, these are all going out today to my wonderful patrons all around the world. I cannot thank you guys enough for all of your support. I'm really excited to get these to you and I wish them all good luck on their journey. Good to see you guys. My mood is instantly better upon seeing you guys. Hey guys. And Miss Boogerface has decided to join us today for our kitchen video. <laughs> She's like, get off of me, you crazy woman. But all I want to do is love you. I am going to just have like a quick snack for lunch and I'm gonna make some steak for dinner. Um, this recipe is actually from one of my best friends, Katie. So if you're watching this, hi Katie. And it's a recipe that her family makes all the time. And I'm gonna try it out for myself. Katie is a great cook and I am like kind of more beginner. So I'm gonna try my best. She told me the recipe. Um, and I'm gonna start preparing it right now so that it's ready in time for dinner because it needs some time to marinate. So let us get started. So first thing we're gonna make is the marinade, which is quite simple. Um, it's just garlic, vinegar, onion, salt, pepper, and a little bit of oil. So we're gonna just start with mincing one garlic clove. And now we're gonna do, it says one tablespoon of minced onion. So I'm gonna just guess that it's like maybe a quarter of a whole onion. Okay, and now we just add about two thirds cup of vinegar. I'm using rice, rice vinegar. This is 
the brand. I got it from the Asian store. Um, I think my friend Katie, when she made the recipe, she used white wine vinegar, but yeah. I think this is, looks like about two thirds cup. So it's really strange um, to think that you would use vinegar in a steak recipe, at least for me, I've never tried it, but it's so good, you guys. And then about one third cup oil. Um, again, I think hers, she used vegetable oil, but I'm gonna use sesame oil because I like to put a little Asian twist onto everything I make. And um, about one and a half tablespoons of salt, which I'm gonna sprinkle on here. And about just like a pinch of pepper. So let me just do that here. Okay, and I'm gonna just stir all this together. It smells so good. And yeah, I think now it's ready to be marinated. I'm just gonna be using these two steaks. Um, they're New York strip steaks. I got these at Target. I like to put them in a Ziploc bag. So I just have these, I think there's like, this is like a quart sized um, giant freezer bag. And I just put the steak in first. So I'm gonna marinate two steaks at once. And these bags work great because later when I cook it with a sous vide, I can use the same bag and it saves me a lot of time. It saves me um, from washing dishes. It reuses the bag. It's just a win-win situation. Okay, so now that the steak's in here, I'm just gonna pour this into the Ziploc bag. There we go. And the great thing about marinating with Ziploc bags is you can kind of make sure that your steak is evenly coated. So I like to just kind of put my hands outside of the bag and massage the marinade into the steak. And this technique works great on any marinade, any meat. So now that it's kind of evenly distributed, I'm just gonna lay this flat and pop it in the fridge. Okay, the steak is marinating now. Um, the recipe says to wait six hours, but for me, I think I'm gonna just marinate for maybe like three to four because I wanna have dinner in time. But yeah, while that's marinating, um, I'm gonna film a segment that I have been meaning to film for the last few months and haven't had a chance to, and I'm so excited to do it. And that is all of these amazing um, fan mail and letters and a few presents that you guys have sent me the last two months. I can't wait to dig in and thank you guys on screen. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna just open things one by one and go through them and I don't really have a particular order. Um, I got a big pile of stuff back here. Um, so the first thing, I actually remember this. This is an amazing drawing. Actually, yeah, I think it's, um, I think it looks like colored pencil. Um, or perhaps color pencil and marker. Um, this is by Abraham, and he is the most adorable little dude. Okay, not little dude, he's actually way taller than me. But um, he came to my solo show opening in Denver, and he was so cute, and he giggled, and he was like, I'm nervous. And I remember being like, no, I'm nervous. And um, yeah, he gave this to me. It's such a well done drawing. It actually looks so much like me. Um, even my parents said so. so you know that you did a good job painting someone when their parents say it looks like them. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Abraham. This is super, super cute. And I love that you put Luna Moths because they're my favorite. And right now, um, this little drawing lives on my favorite bookshelf. Okay, so this next gift, I feel really, really sad because um, this was supposed to be a dream catcher, but it broke during shipment. So I think just like the um, it traveled really far. It traveled from um, another country, so I think just like the post office or something, or perhaps the box was roughly handled, but yeah. It broke and it makes me so sad, but um, this was a package from a lovely viewer, and let's see. Okay, her name is Michaela, and oh my gosh, I think I lost the location of this. Where is this from? Oh, Greece. Okay, yeah, in her letter she says she's from Greece. So yeah, Michaela is actually a really talented artist and she wrote me a really sweet letter. I won't read it um, in public, but it's very, very sweet. And um, she drew this little pencil drawing of herself. Very cute. And um, she said, she also sent me this other artwork she did and she glued some of the leaves on it as well. Very talented, very talented young artist. 
And yeah, I'm really sorry, Michaela, that um, the dream cat catcher broke in transit. If you're watching this, um, feel free to like, if you have a picture of it when it was complete um, and when it wasn't broken, feel free to let me know so that I can try to assemble it back together. I do have like a hot glue gun, so perhaps I can make it work. But yeah, I feel so bad that it broke. And, but I'm sure it was very beautiful. Got this cute little postcard. Some of these I opened and some of these I haven't even read yet because I wanted to wait for the surprise. Oh, this is from <laughs> Isabella, how sweet. So Isabella is, um, I actually remember you because you always comment on my YouTube videos and uh, Isabella also came to my opening in Denver and um, I got a chance to meet her and she sent me a really sweet note. So thank you Isabella for all of your support for um, the past several months and for coming to see me in person. And um, I won't open these two because I've already read them, but um, I got a really great chance to meet a few middle school students um, during my show. And these two, oh, sorry, I, I met one middle school student, her teacher contacted me and um, they couldn't come to the show at night, but they came earlier in the afternoon um, when school was in session. And um, I met this really sweet girl and she brought me these letters from um, her classmates who unfortunately couldn't make it. but. It was really, really humbling to know that um, teachers and students like were watching my videos and finding them helpful or encouraging. So thank you guys so much for um, writing these for me. Oh, this is a cute little envelope. This is from Haley, who lives in Arkansas. Wow, very cute. <laughs> okay, so Haley's asked me some uh, cute questions. Um, she said, other than art, what are my other interests? And um, how did I convince myself to quit my job? And also, um, what inspired you to first, starting cre to first start creating original art? And also, how long does it take to drive across the bridge on a low traffic day or on a bad traffic day? <laughs> okay, that's a lot of questions. I'm gonna answer a few of them. Um, a few of them I've already answered in my video, so feel free to take a look at my channel. For example, like quitting my full-time job, I have a full video about that, so hopefully Haley will find it useful. But um, other than art, I really love scuba diving, and obviously I'm a, I'm a pet lover. I love taking care of my animals and hanging out with them, and I love eating hot pots. <laughs> and um, in terms of bridge traffic, so... On a bad traffic day, it could take up to, I think the worst I ever, um, just to go from Oakland to downtown San Francisco, it took me like almost two hours on a really bad traffic day. And then with no traffic, I think it takes around maybe 20 minutes. Yeah. Thank you, Haley. Ooh. This one is really cute. The um, envelope has a beautiful hand-drawn mushroom on it. This is like, I actually initially thought this was a sticker or a stamp, but um, the person who sent this to me actually drew it herself, which is amazing. Or sorry, hand painted it. I think it's like acrylic or gouache, gouache or something. But um, this is a letter from Kim um, from the Netherlands. So Kim, I actually do remember you as well. Um, I see your comments a lot on my YouTube channel. I know you have an art channel of your own. So thank you so much for sending me this and I definitely recognize you. And um, Kim also sent me a few postcards of her own artwork and that is so sweet like I know it's not it's it's quite expensive to make postcards and you know you could have totally like sold these so thank you so much for sell uh, for sending me a free copy of them um, they're actually really nice like printed on very sturdy cardstock paper but yeah Kim does these beautiful um, I don't actually yeah these beautiful drawings I think they're ink um, of various animals and insects Wow, super cute. Thank you so much, Kim. This letter is from Liz. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so Liz also sent me some postcards. And let's take a look here. Liz V is her name. Oops. Okay, so there's a cute little note inside. Again, I'm gonna keep these notes private. I'm not gonna read them out loud because some of you guys have shared really intimate personal stories with me, which I think is like, really awesome and I'm so grateful you guys like I guess trust me enough to open up to me um, but yeah Liz's art is really awesome I think yeah these are definitely paintings so here's one oops and uh, here's another one this actually kind of looks like Alaska 
They're very beautiful. Thank you, Liz. This one is from Fiona. Let's see what's in here. It's been so long, I don't even remember a lot of times what, what is inside of these. Fiona from, actually, ooh, she also is from California. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I remember this one. Okay, you guys, this is stunning. So this was, um, I remember this because I selected this as one of the winners for um, one of my past coloring challenges, and I, I was so blown away by this piece, and I can't believe, Fiona, I can't believe you sent me the original. Um, that is so freaking special. I'm totally gonna frame this and hang it up. Um, this is a watercolor piece with like gold embellishments, and look how, oh my gosh. Honestly, I think you're probably way better at watercolor than I'll ever be because like I find watercolor so challenging and this just takes my breath away. So thank you so much, Fiona. Like this is, wow, so special. And you must have spent so long on this. I just, I'm so honored that you um, gave it to me. So thank you. This package is from Heather from Canada. Okay, yeah, Heather, um, I definitely remember your name. I, I think you've bought a lot of art from me and I see you commenting on a lot of stuff and I think you're, perhaps a patron as well, if I'm not mistaken. So um, thank you so much, Heather. Like, I can't believe you, not only have you supported me for all these years, but you also sent me a present. Um, Heather sent me these two decks um, of cards, and this one is um, called Goddesses, and they're knowledge cards. So I'm gonna open it up for you. It's so beautiful. The art is like just incredible. And um, basically each card kind of features artwork of a certain type of goddess from various cultures. We have Greek, Roman, Celtic, Native American, Egyptian, Middle Eastern, and Scandinavian mythologies. And, um, oh, I haven't even opened this yet. Okay, I'm gonna, this is, I guess, become an unboxing video. <laughs> okay, if I ever know how to open these things. I'm so bad at opening plastic wrap. Okay, oh, there we go. It's nice to have nails. Okay, yeah, so. Take a look at some of this beautiful artwork. So glossy too. Ooh. Yeah, and then um, on the back of each one, it tells you some informative text, really interesting facts and stories about the origins of these goddesses and what they represent. Um, I think she mentioned that these would be very inspiring for the types of female paintings I like to do, and they definitely are. So thank you so much, Heather. This one is beautiful. And um, the second deck of cards I've actually used many times. Like this is um, featuring the art of, okay, uh, pardon me if I'm butchering the name, but Sisoli, Nicoletta Sisoli. Um, so these are Oracle cards. I've never actually played with Oracle cards before. I, I've heard of them and I've heard of like tarot cards, but um, sorry, tarot cards, not tarot cards. Taro is like a type of um, purple potato flavor that I love to like eat desserts in. Anyways, okay, so basically um, each card has, first of all, like beautiful artwork by this artist um, named Nicoletta, and each card has a number on it. So like this is card uh, number 30, and this one is card number 28. And they all feature, um, she does like pop surrealist art. Her art reminds me a lot of Mark Ryden, who's like one of my top two favorite artists ever. So I love, love, love this card. It's so beautiful. And um, there's a little booklet that explains what you can do with them. So basically there you um, draw cards randomly. You can either draw one card at a time or you, there's a way to draw three cards. And you pick the number of the card that you have randomly drawn and it tells you um, what each card means. So you draw the cards when you're kind of maybe looking for um, guidance when you're making a tough life decision or maybe looking for answers when you have questions. So it's it's definitely like a very spiritual thing. And um, yeah, sir, they have many languages. Obviously, I can only read the English one, but it was super useful. I actually have been through a lot of kind of emotional dilemmas in the last two months and I've consulted these at least three times. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm very open-minded. I totally believe in, in the power of like the brain and the mind and how those things can influence you, whether it's your life or anything like um, physical. Like I think your brain has so much impact on, on these factors. So um, to have these cards that kind of offer me a different angle or perhaps sometimes guide me in the right direction, um, they're definitely super fun and super 
useful for, for me, so. Thank you, Heather, so much. Like, these two are such beautiful decks, and, um, you know, thank you so much for sharing your letter with me and for sharing with me these things that you yourself really enjoyed, and I definitely really enjoy them, so we definitely have very common tastes, and yeah, I'm so incredibly grateful you sent me this huge package. This one, oh my gosh, you guys, this is, this is an oil painting that Ashton did of me. Um, her Instagram is Ashton and uh, Dell. Oh, by the way, um, I'm going to try my best to link everyone's social media accounts. I know some of you have shared your Instagram and YouTube and stuff with me. Um, if you haven't shared it with me, no worries. But um, yeah, I'll try to link everyone's social media account in the description below just to give you guys a thank you and a shout out. Um, and if you're also if you're watching this and you're interested in checking out any of these amazing artists, um, yeah, I'll have that information in the description. But yeah, this is by Ashton and she painted this of me and she said this is actually her first oil painting, which is crazy. This is actually really, really good. Uh, my first oil painting was not this good. And um, she painted the nebulous background that I love. She even got the like very intricate patterns on my shirt, which I mean, this must have taken you forever. And I'm so grateful that you sent it to me. Like this is such a precious gift and I'll definitely be including this on my wall too. You know, I'm thinking I should get like a big display shelf of all the art and beautiful little things you guys get me so I can look at them every day. Cause seeing stuff like this makes me so incredibly like humbled and makes me feel like my life has so much meaning and that everything I'm doing um, you know is making a positive impact and so I really want to uh, yeah I think my next goal for this month is to go to Ikea and get a beautiful display shelf for all these things because they deserve a lot more than like being hidden in a drawer you know so thank you so much Ashton almost done with a few left um, this one let's see this one is from Melanie from Germany what Okay, yeah, this is from a while ago, so I don't even remember this, but... Oh, yeah, okay, I can remember. Melanie sent me some German candy. Um, those of you who live in Germany, do you know this brand? Like, are you familiar with it? Um, I've never seen this in the States, so I'm really excited to try them. And let's see, Melanie's letter... Oh, yeah, Mel... Okay, I remember this now. Melanie, first of all, your handwriting is gorgeous, and your English is great. And um, she gave me one of her trading cards that... I think this is an original artwork as well. I think this is like not a print. Whoa. This is amazing. Okay. So yeah, this I think is definitely hand drawn. It's titled Lunicorn. This is beautiful. Um, it's got, I think metallic, metal, come on camera focus, please. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's got like metallic little highlights and it's like a, it's a prince, albino prince who's also like part unicorn. This is gorgeous. Wow, like, it, I mean, even on such a small, sorry, my, my battery died, but um, I was saying how even on such a small card, there's so much fine detail. Um, I really hope this camera focuses. Come on, camera. So yeah, like the detail on the flowers here, on the shirt, ru um, ruffles, on the face, like, this is mind blowing, wow. Melanie, you're very, very talented. Um, this is going on my display shelf too. The next one, this is from Keros. Keros. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is from um, Sina, Senna, and um, Senna Keros is an, an artist who lives in Missouri, and she sent me one of her coloring books. This is so cool. So she actually published her own coloring book, and um, sent me this beautiful handwritten note. And yes, from art, from artist to artist, I'm so appreciative that you sent me this. Like I'm so curious and like so interested in like seeing the types of art you guys create and this coloring book is just beautiful like look at this gorgeous line work it's so intricate and so well done um let me show you people look at that wow so yeah it, um it's titled the mystical maidens coloring lounge and it features a lot of beautiful ethereal characters so if you're interested in that kind of stuff please check out Senna's um, information, I'm going to leave it in the description below, along with everyone else's. Thank you so much, Senna. Or Sina. I'm so sorry if I'm, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. So the last one is a big one from Royston. Royston, who lives in Georgia. And uh, 
Oh, Royston typed me a letter. Nice. Because sometimes I'm really bad at reading handwriting. Not because anyone's handwriting is bad. I'm just, I'm a really terrible reader. So, <laughs> I appreciate the typed one. Wow. Um, and um, I have this letter from Sarah. And it's a very personal letter. She shared a lot of personal details with me. Thank you so much for sharing your story with me. This is a very personal letter, so I'm not going to share the details. But thank you so much for sharing your story with me. And I'm so honored you would open up to me like that and um, yeah I, I would be more than happy to show some of your beautiful arts. Um, Royston is a illustrator, I think this is watercolor, and he sent me some really beautiful large prints of his work and again it's like so full, you guys are so amazing at detail, like I feel like you guys tell such like interesting fully fleshed stories with your artwork because you include so much wonderful detail like I don't even think my art includes this level of detail this is beautiful huh <laughs> this one features a lot of different candies Pez wow look at this one it's like two kids on some dream ship and there's like goldfish and more candy um and a let's see what's oh and uh Starfish and a, and a mermaid, wow. <laughs> Again, like, I, I, this, the reason why I love art, and I'm sure um, all of you agree with me, is like, it's such a personal reflection of the artist's either personality or their life story or their interests or some innate voice inside of them. And um, just even looking at this pile of art, like, I can tell, I can have a great sense of like who you guys are and what you've been through and what you value, what you love. And, you know, it's just, I'm so honored that you guys like send me these things because I know like they take a long time to produce and they take a lot of money to produce and the fact that you like not only share your stories with me but share you know a personal part of your soul with me um, it's just so incredibly humbling and yes I know I'm like really repetitive I know I, I say humbling a lot and honored a lot um, so yeah if you're playing a drinking game and you're saying take a shot every time she says thank you or you guys are humbling you guys are probably drunk by now but um yeah i mean i might not know every single different synonym for those words but that's truly how i feel like the fact that you know i'm just this kind of one person at home starting a youtube channel and i make these videos i'm not even sure who's watching or who's actually paying attention and the fact that so many of you um have have been positively influenced by the videos and are connecting with me this way like it's something I never expected it's something I never um, thought would happen like and it's just such a great surprise like I I say this many times but like I always thought being an artist was a very lonely profession and the fact that I kind of serendipitously fell into this whole social media and YouTube thing um, it doesn't make me feel so lonely anymore like the I know that you know, regardless how many people there are, there are some people out there listening and whatever I'm saying is being heard and I can hear you guys and it's just such a, <laughs> it's an amazing, rewarding, honored, humbling feeling. <laughs> so yeah, um, this concludes the gift session for today. Um, I can't thank you guys enough and I am going to probably end the vlog soon because I think this vlog is gonna end up being really long. But yeah, I'm gonna basically film um, the cooking portion of, sorry, finish filming the cooking portion of the video and call it a day because I'm sure you guys have your whole lives to get on with. So yeah, uh, thank you guys again. Hi cutie. Hi Molly. Hi. <laughs> Get your little pink nose. Mush, mush. <laughs> Mushroom loves her kennel. Like, I keep my entire room, or my entire house open to the dogs, and Mushroom always likes to choose to sleep inside her little kennel. I think dogs like having a nested cage type of area. It makes them feel secure. Yeah, please lick my hand so that it smells like doggy breath all day. Thank you. Okay, my steak has been marinating in the fridge for about three and a half hours and now it's time to start cooking it because my boyfriend's going to be home soon and I want to surprise him with dinner. So um, here I am using a sous vide. Um, for those of you who have one, um, you know what it's about. For those of you who don't have one, you should totally get one. Um, it basically makes cooking steak very easy. And all you do is you set the temperature here, so I set it at 130 degrees, and right now it's warming up 
a pot of water to be 130 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, by the way. So once it hits 130, I'm gonna basically drop this bag of meat in there um, and just let it cook for about an hour and a half. And then after that, I'm gonna finish it off by searing it on a cast iron skillet. Let's put a little clip there just to make sure it doesn't flop around too much. Hi, hi boogers. <laughs> Booger face wants to help cook or maybe just help put fur into my food. Thanks, okay, now I have to clean this again. Hello, hello darling. <laughs> At this point, the steak is already cooked. Um, 131 degrees is a good temperature for medium rare. And yeah, so it's actually not raw anymore. It's cooked and um, I'm gonna just coat it with some salt and pepper before I sear it, just to give it a nice kind of like crispy outer layer. I'm gonna be using this coarse sea salt. Um, I like coarse salt because the, more, uh, the salt crystals are big enough to make a nice crust. So you get like that nice sear, but they're not too salty, if that makes sense. Also some coarsely ground black pepper. So I basically just put a little bit of butter on the pan to make it a little more oily now that it's heated. And now I'm gonna plop the steaks on. Yum. And then um, it's gonna be about 60 seconds on each side just to get it to be nice and seared. Let's see. Wow, yep, that's beautiful. And you don't want to overcook it, you want to keep it tender. So just sear it a little bit to get it. So I just, I just poured in kind of the leftover sauce from the marinade. And I'm just going to make a little mushroom side dish. It's gonna be very simple. So here I just have some pre-sliced mushrooms from Trader Joe's. Just gonna to toss it until they cook and the sauce is a bit more reduced. Since there's already garlic and onion and oil and stuff in the marinade, I don't really need to do much with the mushrooms except let them cook. I always like doing this, like with the leftover steak sauce and seasoning on the cast iron, um, I like to cook my vegetables really quickly while the steak is resting. Um, it's a time saver and then also it makes the whole plate of food taste consistent, I guess. Just did a um, slice test and it is a beautiful, perfect pink. So it might be more closer to medium than it is to rare, but oh my god, it tastes so yummy. This recipe is amazing. Thank you, Katie and her mom, Nancy. Okay, all done. I know I'm not the best plater, like it's not nothing fancy, but it's a nice healthy dinner and I'm hungry and I'm excited to eat it. It's been a really nice day. I really enjoyed having you guys along with me on today's adventure. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna just clean up a bit and edit this vlog. And um, yeah, <laughs> I really am so glad to be back on YouTube again. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. It would really help out my channel a lot and I'd really appreciate it. And I cannot wait to catch you guys in the next video.